My name is uh, Stan Alexander. I'm a clinical cardiac perfusionist here at Duke. What we do is, as perfusionists, uh, there's about 18 of us on staff, and we run the heart-lung machine. This is an extracorporeal membrane oxygenated circuit, and what it does um, pretty much is take blood from, from a patient instead of the blood returning into the heart where it gets pumped by the heart and goes to the lungs and gets oxygenated. Um, instead, the blood is all drained through, through several tubing um, through our machine and it goes into our machine which has an artificial heart and an artificial lung on the machine. And that's able to provide oxygenation for the blood, take out any kind of metabolic waste and restore that blood uh, to the patient bypassing the heart. It's funny how I got into it. Um, I was, I had no idea what a perfusionist was, never even imagined um, becoming one. Um, I was actually fortunate enough to uh, observe a couple of open heart surgeries at a pretty, uh, pretty f uh, famous center in New York City, which is where I lived. He was working this, what looked like a complex machine to me, all these tubings and um, motors and, uh, and all these uh, uh, circuits going in and out. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. I never, never heard something like that existed. And I asked somebody that said, oh yeah, he's a perfusionist. And I also realized, oh, he's the only person in the whole entire operating room that gets to sit down during the whole case. So uh, that kind of interested me a little bit. The same week that I went to observe the, the surgeries, I got um, some mail from Upstate Medical University in Syracuse. And it said that they have a perfusion program. So I ended up looking up, looking into it, and turned out that, wow, this is, really awesome and I loved cardiac anatomy, anything doing with cardiac, the heart, uh, just fascinated me even at a very young age and um, I saw what a perfusionist do and, the, and their scope of practice is just so range, um, a lot of possibilities and I was excited about it and I decided to go for it. I attended um, SUNY Upstate Medical University, which is State University of New York, and it's a medical school that had a uh, undergraduate school as well, and they offered cardiac perfusion, and um, it's a two-year course. You do a lot of classes, um, a lot of lab work, and then during that summer of the first year is when you really get to go into the field. You get to go to all these different rotations, so I ended up going on four different rotations all throughout the country all the way from Albany, New York, to Dallas, uh, Texas, to um, uh, Danville, Pennsylvania, and then here to Durham, North Carolina at Duke. Um, so that's, that's how the program worked. But most schools in perfusion are either, some of them are a little over a year, but most of them are two years, and they offer either a bachelor's or a master's. This would be my first job out of school, actually. Um, I, I went straight from school to uh, perfusion school from, from high school. Uh, I did uh, two years at a community college and then transferred out of community college into a perfusion school where I got my first bachelor's, which is cardiac perfusion. And I ended up working here. And the way that worked out is uh, one of my rotations that my school has set up is with Duke. And I was here for um, about six months on uh, training, just learning from the same guys I work with now. And it was just a great experience, a uh, smooth transition and I uh, was able to work here. The job itself can be stressful. It's not, it's not uh, for everyone because you're, you're entitled with another person's, pretty much their cardiac function and their life um, during the sur surgical process. And that itself can be stressful at times, but, you, but just the training is what makes you um, prepared for all that. You know, the, just the training is just very involved. Uh, you learn to deal with um, a lot of very important numbers in terms of you know blood gases and just hemodynamics of the patients um, and that can be stressful at times but there are certain times you know especially in an institution like this uh, you get a lot of sick patients there's a lot of sick patients that that come through and there are times when they're not as stable as other centers may be and, and you get patients that can crash at any time even after you know it looks like a procedure went well and you come off the heart lung machine and uh, you're thinking, oh, your day is almost over, and all of a sudden something can go wrong, and you have to quickly respond, and you have to get back on bypass. So you have to make sure you have all your checklists uh, done correctly, that you're taking the proper precautions, uh, make sure the patient safety is number one. We have to be um, on time, punctual, 
just get here as fast as we can. We gotta be able to think um, on the spot. And those are certain times you know, that can be stressful. What makes my day positive is knowing that, that you're doing something really amazing. Um, that not a lot of people can say, you know, this is my job. I get to, I get to run the, get to run a heart lung machine. Get to um, see patients get fixed, their cardiac problems get fixed, and you're assisting in that, in that process. And also just working in a team environment, um, just realizing that you know you played a great role in helping this patient get better. And sometimes that's just this great news itself that keeps you going. And uh, also, you also get compliments from surgeons, other members of the staff, and even patients themselves. You'll be walking through the unit, and you know some patient sees you, and, and you go in there and you say, "Yeah, I'm, I'm the perfusionist that either helped you put on this device, like a ventricular assist device that uh, takes over the functions of the heart once if it fails," or you tell them, "Yeah, I was involved in your surgery." A lot of people are very grateful, and it's good to see that. And that's always the best part: hearing that kind of recognition or hearing that kind of praise from somebody. If I was talking to somebody that wanted to get into the profession, I would tell them that if this is a profession that you can make it into what you, what you want to be. Um, there's a lot of opportunities available. It does mean making some perhaps sacrifices. Uh, you might have to move to find a job, um, but in the end it's worth it. You get to do something that's out of the ordinary that you can't find anywhere else. My role at Duke is important because I get to play a great role in, in the rehabilitation and resuscitation of patients and their care. Um, Duke is one of the greatest institutions in the world that provide the very best quality of care and it's great knowing that I get to play a part of it.